Hi, my name is Jan. I've been traveling full-time for two months now since I sold my house in Williston, Florida. This is the first video for my YouTube channel, Butterfly Tracks. I spent 2020 in a recliner watching a big screen TV just a few feet away from me. So the world just kind of became flat, two-dimensional. And I saw all these beautiful places, and then I started thinking, you know what? There's a whole world out there, and it's not flat. There's a three-dimensional world out there. There's beautiful places, and I can go there. You know, I, I, I think the first time I see a mountain, I'm going to cry. I've been all across the country twice. But it's been such a long time since I've seen a mountain in the redwood trees. What's my goal as a nomad? My goal as a nomad, my ultimate bucket list location, is the redwood forest. But I'm in Florida, and I'm, and this is January in Florida, 2022, and. I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not going to drive in snow and ice. I'm going to wait until spring to go there. But the reason I call this channel Butterfly Tracks is because butterflies don't fly in a straight line. And I'm probably going to just meander all across the United States and see all the sights. But I am going to get to the redwood forest, provided that my 71-year-old body will hold up. Am I afraid as a solo female? I'm not afraid of people. I'm afraid that I will, my body will break down and I won't be able to make it. You know, if I was 25, my body could break down and I wouldn't make it. Things can happen to anybody of any age. And I am 71. I'm, I'm uh, way, way out of shape. I hope this trip will help that. But I'm basically in good health. And uh, so the thing I fear the most is something breaking down, you know, a hip, <laughs> fall down, can't get up, uh, knees. I don't have that trouble right now. I'm not even taking any medications. So I'm healthy. Um, I, I hope to get in better shape. I'm certainly walking more. I'm more active than I've been in a long time. And me and my two little dogs are going to have a great time. They used to sleep all day. You know, they'd get up and eat and go out to go to the bathroom and then they'd come right back in. So, um, all three of us little old ladies are going to get in better shape. In fact, Susie, I'll show you pictures of them. Susie is 15 years old and Coco is 14 years old. Well, well, it would help if I had a tripod that I didn't have to hold up like this. And I will get one. I just haven't found one yet. Um, I've got the how do people do this? <laughs> How do people do this and look so natural on camera? I did some video a couple of decades ago. I had a little um, Legacy Studio. It was called um, Video Production Company Legacy Studio in Lake Wales, Florida. Um, but I was always behind the camera, not in front of it. This is really hard. How do you guys do this? How do you look so natural? I guess you start out like I do, feeling kind of silly. All right, so van tour. We're going to do a little quick van tour. This is a view of my van right after I bought it. This is before I had the windows tinted. Uh, I only had the driver's side and passenger side tinted darker, and the front windshield got ceramic tinting. You can see that the back windows are practically limo tinting already. Um, this is a plug-in hybrid, so it has a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of technology, a lot of safety features, and it has a great warranty. Those are some reasons why I bought it new and bought this particular minivan. I have a Yakima rooftop box, has electric doors, 
and I'm going to give a lot more detail in future videos about all the layers that are in here and the details of the storage and so forth. As you can see, it's an ocean theme. My clothes are in the pillows. I did some unique window treatments. I can tell you about those later, too. Even have a little hallway there. My kitchen's in the back. And this little dresser is good for storage and is kind of cute. And here's those pillows. This is a close-up of those pillows. And I wanted to give you another close-up, too, of the window treatments. This one was hard to do, but I think it came out good. It stays there permanently. And this one is water scene. It's, it's a fabric that goes on there that's uh, bendable. And the floor, lots of layers. I'll talk about those in my next video. This is looking forward toward the cockpit. You can see my electric cooler and the 10-inch uh, screen in the front. This is my kitchen, which I've made some improvements on. I have an ice maker and a Blue Eddy solar battery. Thank you for joining me on this very first video of Butterfly Tracks. I hope you'll join me to see if I ever make it to the Redwood Forest. If you want to follow along, you could subscribe and give the video a like. Thank you.